Equated monthly installment EMI. You would have seen EMI when you have taken loans. So if you approach the bank for a loan, the bank would straightly will tell you this is the EMI which you have to pay every month. So the EMA, EMI and the PV of annuity which you have seen in last session has a relationship. Both are one and the same formula. So if you want to know the EMI, you can use the formula which we have used for PV of annuity. So let's see that if the loan amount is available then we can calculate the annuity. We can calculate this portion if the loan amount is available and rate of interest is available and the tenor. So the formula will be 1 divided by 1 plus i to the power of n which is subtracted from 1 and divided by rate of interest. So subtracted from 1 and divided by rate of interest. Right. So we will take an example before that, what is this N conveys? N conveys the number of months and I conveys the rate of interest. We'll take an example. Let's say you have a loan of 1 lakh and the interest is 1% per month or it's 12% per annum and let's say the tenor is 180 months. So what should be the EMI which should be paid every month? Here we know the loan amount is equal to 1 lakh. So we'll write 1 lakh, right, equal to here we'll have annuity, so I'll call it as EMI, multiplied by the formula. So the formula here is 1 divided by 1 plus I. I stands for the rate of interest. Here it is 1%, so it will be 0 0.01. So I have made a small modification. It is 1 plus I to the power of N. Yeah. So it is 0 0.01 to the power of 180 divided by 0 0.01. So we'll have that here. It is 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.01. So it is 1.01 to the power of 180 divided by 0 0.01. So this would give you some value. If you divide that by 1 lakh, it will give you what is EMI, which is 1200. 